Hello, welcome to Chargebee application. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate your Avidix for sales account with Chargebee for automated sales tax compliance. When it comes to handling invoices, tax management could be very taxing. Multiple jurisdictions, changing rules, varying tax rates and tax-based workflows could get complex and require repetitive manual effort. Chargebee integrates with Avalara to help automate your tax management workflows. You can connect your AVA Tax for Sales account with Chargebee and apply sales tax on existing and new invoices automatically. Here are the prerequisites that you need to ensure before integrating the two applications. Avalara requires your business address to calculate tax for an invoice. Make sure that you fill the organization address in your Chargebee account, the country, state, and postal code fields. Chargebee will use your customer's shipping address to calculate tax, in the absence of which, billing address would be used. Make sure that you are collecting them from your customers. Let's look at how you can connect the two applications. Connect your Avalara account with the Chargebee site. Validate addresses for existing customers in Chargebee site. Configure tax codes for your plans and add-ons. Configure customer tax exemption, and enable Avalara as your mode of tax calculation. Let's get started. Go to Settings, Third-Party Integrations, Tax Management, Avalara. Click Get Started if you have an Avalara account, or in case you don't have one, no problem. You can click Sign Up right here to quickly create your Avalara account and continue. Choose the AVA tax type to be AVA tax for sales. Enter your Avalara credentials. Next, enter or confirm your organization address. As you can see here, Chargebee populates the organization address that is specified in your settings, you can change this if you'd like to. Click Proceed. Next comes the shipping address validation. As we mentioned in the prerequisites, your customer's shipping address is very important to determine and apply appropriate tax rates on their invoices. You can choose to turn on Avalara's address validation support to validate your customer's shipping addresses. This will ensure that your customers give a valid address while signing up for your product. You can also allow them to sign up with partially valid addresses. Chargebee will mark their shipping addresses as partially valid. Click Proceed. Under Configure Sync Rules you can turn the toggle on to allow Chargebee to post invoices and credit notes to Avalara. You can also choose how you want invoices and credit notes posted to Avalara and here are your options. For the purpose of this video, let us choose Commit All Invoices and Credit Notes. Click Proceed. All your customers who sign up after you enable this integration will provide a valid address. What about the customers who have already signed up? Don't worry. All that you need to do is validate their addresses in Chargebee site. Under Validate Existing Addresses, choose the taxable regions you want to validate and click Run Check. You can look for any possible address errors, have them fixed right here and proceed. We recommend that you do this before enabling the integration to eliminate the risk of their subscriptions getting cancelled during renewal as tax cannot be determined. Avalara uses what's called a tax code to determine the tax rate for each product and whether it is taxable, non-taxable or partially taxable. Let us see how you can configure tax codes for your plans and add-ons in Chargebee. Click Product Catalog, Plans then go to the respective plan to edit. Enable this plan as subject to taxes checkbox and when you have configured Avalara in the Chargebee site, you will see this Avalara tax code field. Go ahead and add the corresponding tax codes. If you leave this field empty though, for taxable products, the default tax code will be used by Avalara. There could be instances where you'd want to exempt tax for certain customers for valid reasons. Click to select the customer record, and enable this customer as exempt from tax payment. You can specify the exemption reason using Avalara Entity Type or the Exemption Number field. If you don't provide either, then Chargebee will default the Avalara Entity Code to Other or Custom. Click Settings, Configure Chargebee, Taxes. Go to the respective taxable regions, say United States, and choose Avalara as preferred mode of tax calculation. Unless you do this, Avalara will not be used for automatic tax calculation in Chargebee. 
Now let us see how the integration helps automates the tax workflow. Each time a new customer subscribes to your product or service and fills an incomplete address, see how the system prompts them to enter a valid address? Once they enter, pay and subscribe, let us look at what happens behind the curtain. A subscription is created for the customer, and if you open the invoice that's generated, the tax is automatically applied based on the plan and the customer's address. Switch to Avalara account, and you can see the same invoice posted and marked as committed. So there you go. Integrate your Chargebee application with Ava Tax for sales and have sales taxes applied on your invoices automatically. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can write to support at chargebee.com or check out the need help section in the app.